I have gotten some riveted chain mail. You can see right here, it's just above the butted mail and it's tacked on right there. Let's start the test and I'm gonna use a 130 pound bow first. That's my lightest bow. I'm gonna have two different arrowhead types. We're gonna have the long tip bodkin like this one here. And this one here is a bit more of a leaf shape and we're gonna see how it does from about 25 yards. Okay, so the first shot actually bounced off. It hit a rivet right here. You can see it bunched in, but didn't go through. The second shot came off a little cleaner, and that one actually punched through the riveted mail and the butted chain mail underneath and the gameson into the person. So that's definitely gonna be enough to get through just about anything aside from plate. Okay, so 130 with the bodkin did its job. Now we're gonna use these here. You can see it's a bit of more of a leaf tip not quite as precise of a point and see what happens with that one at 25 yards. Here you can definitely see the difference between butted and riveted. This one here, it actually absorbed the blow, didn't penetrate through the dummy or the gabison. So this would be great for unarmored targets or horses, but against riveted mail this did not punch through so that's actually really cool to me and that was with the 130 pound bow okay so we established the 130 pound bow with the leaf type tips could not make it through so what i'm going to do is we're going to jump up to 165 pounds and see if we can make it through the riveted mail the butted mail and the gameson and the dummy So that extra 35 pounds made a big difference. That went through all of them almost no problem. So you see once you get that higher weight, that does add a significant difference. So 165 with the leaf type point is gonna go through riveted, butted, gambeson, and the dummy. Well, firstly, I apologize for looking perpetually wet. It's about 103 where I live, so I keep dunking my head in the pool. But we're gonna give the chain mail a bit of rest from the bow because we know that's gonna happen. I'm gonna try now the riveted mail against some throwing axes. Huh. So the thing about these throwing axes is they actually have a really high point on the top there. And you can see I hit that throw just about perfect where it actually punched into it, through it, and stuck into the wood. So that was different than I expected, but I think it was all because it had that tapered point to where it's not a flat surface actually hidden at that angle there and it did some work. So I think it might be time to stop bullying the chainmail and use it for its intended purposes, which is to stop slashes. The first shot hit the butted nail to basically show it's gonna blow apart whenever you hit it. The second one hit the riveted nail and you can see that did almost nothing to it. So it's much better than what's out there commonly and it does a really good job.